What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. It's your boy, Chris D, a.k.a. Willy Wonka, a.k.a. Doobie Man, back in the motherfucking house. And this stream of consciousness, what I want to talk about is the psyche of negativity. And I've talked about hate before, and I've, I've talked about, like, negativity before. But what I want to focus on today is the sideline brothers, the brothers that promote the negativity or that make money from the negativity by using their uh, format or using their channel to promote the nonsense. And we see it a lot with a lot of celebrities. There are celebrities that create content, they create music, they create art, they create conversation based on what they do. And then you have these hanger-ons or these people that get paid from reporting on the content that the people created. It's crazy how you can have people that say they support you or they support this particular artist, but then meanwhile, they're the main ones that's contributing to the negativity or the hate about that person. They run the blogs where they talk bad about the people. You know what I'm saying? And what I found is that even in my own situation as far as being down with Caribbean Conquest, I've encountered that a lot, where a brother will leave messages on my page or on my, on my videos, and they'll be like, hey, man, I appreciate your content, man. You're doing a good job. Meanwhile, they post some shit on my enemy's page, too. Yo, man, appreciate your content. Like, nigga, you can't serve two masses. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> and I'm not saying that you can't, uh, let's say you can't get information from multiple sources, right? But then you got some brothers, their whole focus is just to try to keep the beef going between niggas. So then, like, they'll be supporting this particular type of content, even though it's negative. And don't, don't listen, man. I see everything. You know what I'm saying? Don't come in my face trying to be friendly and you posting on the enemy's page bullshit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whenever the enemy posting videos about me and it's negative, you laughing? Word? I'm seeing this shit, man. I see everything. You know what I'm saying? All I got to say about that is God bless all them brothers. What we need to do as brothers is learn that negativity against each other only serves to make other races look down on all of us. You know how amazing and incredible it would be if Stephen A., if Alden Brothers didn't go at Kwame Brown? You know What if they never would have done that? What if he wasn't even been in the conversation because it wasn't even worth talking about? Why bring him up? He has nothing to do with what y'all talking about. Why would you bring... See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying is that we love to promote negativity. And what happened? How did Kwame Brown find out about that? He probably wasn't watching All the Smoke. I guarantee that brother had other shit to do. It was other niggas that grabbed that content that Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson created, sent it to Kwame. Oh, 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 did you hear what they said about you? You niggas is the niggas I'm talking about. You middle ground ass niggas. You in between ass niggas. You 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 goddamn uh, purveyors of content. <laughs> goddamn UPS for content. <laughs> UPS for negativity. <laughs> goddamn FedEx negativity ass niggas. <laughs> Express male negativity ass niggas. You feel me? That's what we got a lot of today, man. And that's the shit I hate. It's it's these middle ground ass niggas that's going back and forth that keep the shit going. Meanwhile, how are they getting big off another nigga's beef? Or how is a nigga beefing with a man that's trying to create content? Because before... Steven Jackson and before Matt Barnes ever got at Kwame uh, in that interview with All the Smoke, this man had been creating content, been talking that shit, been talking real shit, been giving y'all bombers cooking. Nobody was fucking with him then. Nigga was having like 3,000, 7,000, 2,000, 100 views on his, on his videos. 
Where the fuck was everybody at then? This nigga get one negative bullshit ass situation. Now all of a sudden everybody following him. That shit is crazy to me, man. It's crazy. This man been talking that good shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't... I, I think what's interesting about it is that it had to come from something negative. I just wish it wasn't like that. I really do wish brothers would support other brothers. And that instead of coming at him on some shit like that, saying, you know what? Remember back in the day, man, niggas used to clown, niggas used to clown that brother? But you know what he doing now, man? Man got his own YouTube channel. He's a good father, raising his son. Son might be in the league one day. Shout out to my man Kwame. That would have been a dope shout out. Got that man some views on his YouTube channel. And they never would have got that cooking. <laughs> Same thing with Charlemagne. These purveyors of negativity. This man was from the same city as his brother. And instead of attacking it or coming at it from a perspective of, well, all I know is that this man's family has a, a troubled history. But what I can say about this brother is that he was a millionaire at 18. That he was able to help his family come, overcome some very difficult situations that people in South Carolina know. But all I know is that they had no, no reason to mention his brother's name. And they need to keep his name out of their mouth. Charlemagne could have played it like that. Protected his brother. No. That's not going to get him more clicks. That's not going to get him more views. That's not portraying the negativity in a positive way. No. What we need to do is we need to spice it up. I got some information on this nigga. I, I, I could talk about how, how his father did this and then his brother did this. Uh, that That's going to be more spicy. That's going to get more clicks, more views. Fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Anybody that would make content based on negativity off another brother's content, off another brother just living his life, you're not real men. You're not a real man. Stop trying to be goddamn those little gross fish that be clinging to whales when the whale is swimming in the water. Don't be that fucking fungi-ass plant, man. That's what you want to be your existence to be? You know what I'm saying? A goddamn wart on a bitch pussy? A, 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 a mole on the inside of, of a fat bitch thigh? That's what you want, man? Because that's how I view niggas who do that type of shit. That's literally what you are. You are the flap... That, that middle fold when a fat bitch uh, bent her arm. That that middle grit, that gray shit for them fat bitches when they, when, when they get sweaty and they bend their arm and they unbend their arm, all that gray shit in between the arm, that's you niggas. All that shit that be on the back of a fat nigga neck, that, 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 that gray shit that get crusty when that nigga lift up that fat flap. That's you niggas. Not you niggas. You niggas is real niggas. Any niggas that's listening to this, I know you're a real one. I know this doesn't apply to y'all, but I'm pretty sure we know people like that. And if we know people like that, our goal should be to not attack them in a negative way. Our goal should be to try to uplift and help them to see a better way. The only way that we can get better as a society is if we police ourselves. It's not going to come from white people or other people. It's going to be from brothers like me, brothers like Taylor, brothers like Ace, you know what I'm saying, brothers like Omari, that's going to have to pull niggas butt by the ears and be like, stop doing this dumb shit and come on with us. Stop bullshitting. Let's get real about our lives. Let's get real about our health. Let's get real about our physical health, mental health, spiritual health. Let's just get right with ourselves, man. Let's stop living and dwelling in negativity. Let's stop allowing for, quote unquote, the man to dictate what's important to us and focusing our energy on shit that doesn't serve us in the best possible way. If we can do that, we can accomplish so much. But if we can't, we're going to continue to do the same shit that we've been doing. And that's why a lot of us end up checking out of here early. In our late 40s, 50s, uh, some others ain't even going to make it to see their 60s because of heart problems, diabetes, bad, uh, clogging up the veins. It's just from all that goddamn hate. <laughs> I 
That's all I got, man. I hope you brothers have a very good day. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.